I want to pivot a little bit and I want to open this dialogue. I want to talk about the public education crisis that we're facing right now in the USA, right? As a former teacher, I understand proficiency and efficiency within the classroom. How can parents support y'all? How can the community support y'all so that we can bring our babies up on this learning curve? I hear y'all. I see y'all. Let's start talking about some solutions. If you're an educator, a school personnel, please stitch this or comment. How can we help? As a community, we got to start doing something. I need to see where, well, what, where are we lacking? Please stitch this. Okay, it's a lot to unpack right here. I'm trying my best. This young lady wrote, our district fought tooth and nail just to get a cost of living increase. She provided some percentages, stated corrupt. She also mentioned that we need to exercise our right to vote. And as far as voting, we need to break that down in multiple levels. All right, when we're voting. <laughs> when you're voting, it is important to know who you're voting for within your district, meaning your school district and your city district, as well as the state. Uh, when people campaign uh, for you to vote for them, we need to be asking them, what are you going to do for the state of education? What are you going to do to support our teachers? What, what are you going to do? Why should I vote for you? We need to hold these people accountable, okay? As far as pay raises, from my experience, um, my school district had a union, and that union uh, expressed these concerns as far as teachers' raises and is voted on. And also, citizens u.s citizens on the ballot sometimes they have do you support this bill to raise taxes for this reason we have to read what's on these ballots because sometimes they're in support of teachers but understanding the ballot is where we're lacking all right they're rolling in more community slash parent involvement allows for greater oversight of choices made can help ensure the money goes towards supplies paraprofessionals and teachers not town administration i think it's the administration all right pta and esac is still around the last esac meeting i went to it was two teachers two parents people from the community and maybe a, a resource officer it was no more than 20 people I don't even think it was 10. Parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, godparents, neighbors, we need y'all in those PTA and ESAC meetings. Listen, last time I checked, a lot of y'all be getting ready for happy hour. Y'all be on the scene. Chris Brown just released his concert tickets and I saw on y'all stories y'all was in the queue to be there. Y'all babies getting ready for uh, football and chili this season. Y'all pack them stadiums out. Y'all pack them fields out. We need to pack these PTA and ESAC meetings out because we are the shareholders, meaning they listen to us. If we demand what we need for our kids, our children, the future, they have no choice but to listen. Nope. We're talking about it online, but we got to go to these offices. We got to go to these meetings. We got to let them know that we standing on business when it comes to the future of our kids. Show up. Get involved. Reading that comment about parent involvement really tickled me because it unlocked some core memories to my childhood, y'all. My mom was a huge, my whole family is a huge advocate of PTA and ESAC. And before my mom would clock in at her job, she would be in the parent drop-off line, passing out flyers, encouraging people to come to these meetings and uh, express their concern, try to bring change. And I could, my middle school was in the heart of Liberty City, okay? It had surrounding urban communities, PSU, the poking beans. We had people from Scott Project being bused to our school. We had people from Overtown being bused to our school. And... Seeing that parent involvement at that time while I was in middle school, it brought so much positive change. So many resources were delivered. The power that we have as parents is pivotal. It's very.